Hello my lovelies, hope you've been well. This is another video and today I will be talking about my pencil case and what's in them and all those stuff. So this is probably a little bit different from other people's pencil case because for me this pencil case is just for tools only so it won't have like nice colored pencils and things like that. It's basically just bare bones tool where um, whenever I journal I just take this out and mostly it has everything that I need so it's probably a little bit different with other people's pencil cases are mostly you know things that you need to write right but I primarily journal creatively so these has a lot of the tools that are essentials for me to journal you'll see what it is um, soon I'll open it up this is basically one of those two um, story almost like true story pencil case this one the the sides you can actually expand to fit more but i generally don't need to expand it and you'll see why in front of the pencil case easy reach is my holy grail scissors this is the kukuyo saksa and um, i have this in several different colors just because i really really like how they cut and personally they're my favorite scissors so it's all in the front because um probably out of everything in here that's the one i take out the most and also my glue pen so the thing that's good about this pencil case it, it has all this spaces for your um, pencils and pens and those kind of things and also has a zip on the side i'll start from here so from this zip what i have is this is a small size acrylic block for if there's any clear stamps and stuff i just like to put it in here just because it's easy to reach when I need it even though with clear stamps I don't if I'm at home I don't use it as much as my rubber stamps but if I were to take this out of the house it'll be really handy to actually have an acrylic block to take with me and use when I need it I also have the MD cream paper correction tape this was really useful because the cream MD paper is one of my favorite papers so I just don't know where else to put this but it makes sense to put it in here so I don't actually have to look everywhere to find it. I also have a clip. This is a smaller one if I need it but I also have a bigger one. I'll show you next. I'll, we'll just go from the very like front until the back basically. So I also have this tweezer. So it's basically one of the ones that I actually got from the pharmacy whatever but i really really like the, the little bend on this because i feel like that is what makes it really easy to journal with but this doesn't have to be an expensive one i basically just get this from the pharmacy so that is in there because i always some some of the time when it's more delicate and more smaller i like to use it even though most of the time i just use my hands this one is the Unipin fine line. This is the pen that I use when I sketch and then need a, an outline before I put watercolor down because this one it's a quick drying one, pigment based, I think, water and fade proof. So that's why it's really good. So when I actually do the wash on top, it won't be bleeding everywhere. So I really like that one. I also have a calligraphy holder just because I also have my calligraphy nibs in there but I'll take you through that later but this is the Tachikawa nib grip so you can just put in the, um, the calligraphy stuff on top so that's why I really like having this in here as well because sometimes I want to do some calligraphy and it's already there so that's why I told you like my pencil case probably quite different from um, other people's pencil case because it's mostly tool based and um, mostly just things that I need to journal and be creative I guess so this one is just basically a Pen, a pacer we call it a pacer but you guys call it i don't know mechanical pencil maybe but um it's the tombow monograph one and this one's actually at 0 0.3 0 0.3 um lead i don't know if you can see it properly but they're like 0 0.3 lead and um i just bought it because I, I like the color but i also want to try like a little thinner lead so that's why i have this so um, i just pop it in there because you always need a me mechanical pencil i feel like this one is a little something a little bit interesting this is a liquid glue but i don't actually use them 
as glue i write using this and then i put a wash of like ink or watercolor on top so that's how i use this so i don't use it in the traditional sense that it's a liquid glue but you can definitely use this for like really small delicate pieces as well but i just don't use that for my glue because i do have a glue tape roller that i actually really like using so this is just a tombow liquid glue that i carry around as well this other one is this is actually a craft knife i don't know if you can see the front bit of it but it's a little bit sharp because it's a craft knife i just have this in case i need it for going through things or cutting through things but it doesn't get used as often as my scissors usually so if we go to the deeper pockets um i like how this layout really really nicely i usually put my um, eraser in here but right now i'm just bringing like this little off piece around um but this is one of my favorite clip for journaling like if you journal you'll probably know that usually you need something to prop it open so this one always stays in here it sometimes i like misplace it on my desk but when i remember to actually pack it back i like it i like to pack it back in this and it has to be in this configuration or else it won't fit so it's really funny um this is just like a tin from of mints that i repurposed to house all my like calligraphy nibs so these are most of my calligraphy nibs that i'm using like my favorite one is this one probably the nico g is really good for beginner calligraphers also have my kakimori in here because it uses the same holder and i figured out you know what i'll just pop it in here so i know where it's always from and that's just like a tissue paper at the back just so like you know i don't i don't want my nibs rattling against metal so i just want like a a cushion for them to sit on so that's my um little calligraphy nib tin basically so that just goes in there and then these two are my favorite kukuyo glue tape roller i think if you're already in the channel a lot you've watched a lot of my video you know that this is my holy grail glue tape that i basically really really love it's refillable you can actually take out the back can take up the back like so and this whole thing comes out and then you can replace it um, they used to sell it in a stationery shop here in Australia but they don't anymore so I have to get it online and this is like the um, the cover of it but to tell you the truth I usually just have it open because I'm just too lazy to do the uh, like open and close all the time so but I haven't had any problems with I guess you can probably get some stuff on the tape if you if you don't keep it closed. But you know, if I if I just keep it in here, it'll probably be safe from like if you, if I zip it up, it'll probably be safe from all the dust and everything. So I'm not too like precious about it. Plus, like tape with tape, you don't need it to show, right? Because you you use it to stick like two things together, and then once the things get stuck on the top, you can't see the tape anymore. So it's okay if it gets a little bit of dust, to be honest. So these two are exact same versions. The only difference are this one is slightly more affordable because this actually contains double the amount of the tape on this one. But this one you can actually click through so this is actually really good to put in your pencil case because it's like a much slimmer profile than this one right so and this one the thing with this is i i can't show you because it's really hard to show on this but um this this one is a little bit thinner and also the dot in there is much smaller i don't think you, i can show it to you but just trust me on it <laughs> basically the dots are so much smaller so if you're actually using it for something that you can see like as i said like you you paste two things that are on top of each other but if the top is a bit transparent um, it's better to use this because you can't really see the dots so i use this primarily for like vellums and transparent things and if i'm out on the go and need just like a small glue tape this one will be good but mostly i just use this bigger one because i just really like this one yes so it just have to go in this way or else i can't close it but that's basically my tools pencil case the pencil case itself like i said it's able to be 
I can zip it open so I'll zip it open for you so if I zip it open it actually has extra space so I can fill it in with more stuff if I want to but I do really like the way this sits and the fact that it just looks like everything belongs there because everything has its own place sometimes I also put my scissors in here and just close it like that just if I'm traveling somewhere and I don't want my scissors to fall out and float out in my bag or things like that so usually during um, if I have to take it somewhere then I'll put the scissors there and then I'll zip it up but, but when it just lays around at home I like the scissors in the front because that looks cuter right it has the little like it almost reminds me like a bunny the, <laughs> the scissors so that's how I store it when I'm at home and I'll leave it at that but I hope that is useful I know it's not the conventional pencil case where you actually store like you know your writing tools but this is my journaling pencil case so it has all the tools that I need for journaling and I'm already it's been more than a year I started using this and I feel like it's made my journaling so much better because I know where all my tools are in the past, there's times where I leave my glue tape over my desk and on the side of my desk. Because you don't know this because this looks clean. But you don't know that around here, there's a lot of mess. And I just like push it aside to make <laughs> to make a little space for me to film. But um, that's why I feel like this keeps me very organized. Because all the tools that I need is in there. And even if there's like a pile of junk beside me... I don't have to dig through that to find that glue pad or to find a glue tape or something like that but i also really like that the fact that i can if i need to journal on the go like yesterday i went to a journal meetup with some of my journaling friends and i just can't pick up this whole thing and then i know i have all the tools i need for it so even though this is usually used at home like most of the time probably like 95% of the time but I like to make sure that my stuff are able to be brought on the go if that makes sense but yeah that's it for today I hope you enjoy that little video of my pencil case I feel like I've set it up in a way that really works for me and I hope they'll give you some ideas if you need to you know set up a journaling pencil case so there you go and that's it for now hope you stay safe and take care and I'll see you on the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye